Alright, we decided to go to Fila Papa's Hill, so we're on our way now. Join us. lunch we decided to take a walk to Pilapapuki. This is just the beginning of the hill. We bump into the dirty pond just at the entrance. There are many trails to take but if it's your first time don't worry the trails will lead you around the hill and surely ended up in the monument. At this moment we decided to take the right path. We continue following the trails and enjoy the view of the mountain. It is covered with cypress trees and surprising amount of olive trees. There are many seats. You can relax or take some time to rest and have some picnic and enjoy the breeze from the trees and hear the birds singing. here of what they called the prison of Socrates. The preserved part of the structure is a complex of three rooms, carefully cut into bedrock with doorways at the east and cistern at the back. The use of the room is unknown. It is cave-like structure However, it is proximately to the Athenian Agora must have led to the popular tradition that the building was the prison of Socrates or an ancient bath as it is stated in the guidebooks and history books. This one is smaller. In the Second World War, the structure was used to hide the antics of the Acropolis and the National Archaeological Museum during the occupation of the German and was sealed up with a thick concrete wall. This is how it looks like the prison of Socrates 1862 and 1890. In 1999, and this is the last picture in two. 2002, after the removal of the concrete wall. Next to the prison of Socrates is the church, but more on that later, we will now starting to explore the path to Pilapapu Hill. 
As we walk to the stairways to Pilapapu Hill, we can see many people are gathering despite of the situation. So we rather stay away and walk slowly and enjoy the surroundings. We can see from here the ruins of Acropolis, especially the Parthenon, and also the Mount Phoenix in the other side. We are now at the Enderon facing the Acropolis. To see the stone paved on Pilepapo Hill, which is designed by Dimitris Picunis, the man who shaped the Acropolis landscape way back in 1887 to 1968. We did enjoy hunting his decorative designs in the path to Pilepapo Hill. is Musaius Monument, the rock cut in square to the northeast of the summit, which affords niches for statues, benches and altars for offerings, is claimed to belong to the funeral monument of Musaius. It is more probable, however, that the hill took its name from a sanctuary of Moses, to whom the hill must have been dedicated in the 2nd century AD. But it's like a house. Can you see? There's a chair. I wonder what is this part? Now, we are moving to Pilapapu Monument. The Philippopus Monument is an ancient Greek museum and monument dedicated to Gaius Antiochus Epiphanes, or known as Philippopus, in 65 to 116 AD, a prince from the kingdom of Kumagini. It is located on Museion Hill in Athens, Greece, southwest of the Acropolis. Philippopus died in 116, and his death caused great grief to his sister Julia Balbilia. As a dedication to honor the memory of Philippopus, Balbilia, with the citizens of Athens, erected a tomb structure on Moses Hill near the Acropolis of Athens. Nowadays, only a part of the tomb's facade remaining stand. If we believe the account of the Italian traveler Sir Yakuti Sikuli, the structure was intact at least up to 1436. Now, this is the peak of Pilapapu Hill, where you can stand and take a photo of panoramic view over Athens. Enjoy the sunset when you can. We are now heading to the south western ridge of Pilapapu. We can see many olive trees with fruits here. Many are having 
having a good time lying on the grass, some are spending quality time with their loved one, and some are just spending their day well like climbing on the rock. So if you have an extra time visiting here in Greece, you will not regret coming here. It is just opposite to the Acropolis Hill. And you can access also the Mount Lycabetus, the highest point of Athens. planning to visit Greece, please check out our other videos. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. God bless.